नमस्कार द अपकमिंग एपिसोड ऑफ स्वराज इज अबाउट वेलू थम्पी दलावा हु वॉज द लीडर ऑफ द मासिस मच अगेंस्ट द विशेष ऑफ हिज किंग द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ अ प्रिंसली स्टेट डिसाइडेड टू डिक्लेयर वॉर ऑन द ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी टू प्रोटेक्ट हिज होम लैंड इट वॉज एटीन जीरो नाइन एंड वेलू थम्पी दलावा दैन दिवान ऑफ ट्रेवन कोड स्टेट वेज दिस एपिक पैकल this incident which british historians have degenerated as merely a revolt the maharaja of travancore at that time was vithom tirunal balarama verma who served the british regency and was only a pawn in the hands of his ministers the english east in their company's troops were immediately determined to plunder travancore they collected a sizable quantity of money from the kingdom under the guise of the english east india company travancore subsidiary alliance treaty for which the ordinary people were subjected to exorbitant levies due to this leadership an inherent trait of questioning a dharma and patriotism velu thampi dilawa who advanced from the position of tehsildar in the southern portion of the kingdom to his current position was unable to fulfill this financial commitment to the english east india company velu thampi intended to kill local colin macle alongside palithan achan the dalawa of cochin he was successful in getting french military assistance his kundara proclamation of january 16 1809 served as an inspiration for the people who loved the country to rise and resist the english in kolam battles took place in sites including nidakara kuri puza and thatta maza in the alavai mozi pass which served as the travancore kingdom southern boundary his forces repelled the british army under colonel saint leger when the forts of udaygiri and Padma Bharatpuram fell to the British on February 19. The Raja of Travancore succumbed to the Britishers and appointed a new Dalawa. Thus, more than the military might of the British dominion, the infighting and disloyal deeds of various stakeholders brought defeat to the great fighters. Velu Thampi killed himself with the dagger, and the rest is history. The savage Englishman, devoid of compassion. decided to exact retribution on his corpse along with his brother padmabhan thampi who was still alive the lava's body was taken to the streets and exposed in front of the people in kolam close to anantavali shivaram shrine his brother was publicly hung the head of the lava's body was served and exposed in public at tiruvanthapuram the capital of travancore kingdom his remains were later buried in ulunur hills english forces demolished his ancestral house in talakulam and created a pond thereafter carrying out all this barbaric deeds watch this upcoming episode of swaraj at 9 am and again at 9 pm sunday on doordarshan velu thampi never bothered about his position power or life itself he stood for swabhiman swaraj and swadharma of the nation thank you like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon